We were in Howard Johnson's. We played at Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, man. We were in Howard Johnson's eating with the band. And um, these armed gunmen, two armed gunmen came in and, uh, and held right. up the place. What was really funny is they were the roadies. <laughs> yeah, well, they were no, our roadies. Just, well, just we kidding. had to raise money any way we could back then. No, I mean, what was really funny about it, it wasn't funny at the time. I didn't think it was funny. Eddie ran into the bathroom and wouldn't let anybody in. He pushed the door. I said, Eddie, let me in. See, I thought that these guys probably had the gun to his head. You see, I mean, you see, you, me. you see all this stuff on TV, and you're supposed to be convinced. There's so a man safe. with a gun out here. And so let I had to make sure. In. But see, I have two children. <laughs> I have two children. So it's important. It's very important to me. I very would. important to me. I can laugh about it now, but at the time, trying to get in that bathroom, it no, was not see, very funny. But how did you know that that guy wasn't in there with me? <laughs> I, he was behind me but there was, with guns. But they always have a backup plan, Well, see? that's true. Most unbelievable thing is in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the city of unbelievable things. We were there about three years ago, and Dana and I decided we were going to go have breakfast at our hotel. <laughs> And uh, we walk downstairs, and we have to walk through this little hallway past the cash register to eat breakfast. And there's a couple guys there paying their bill, right? And I couldn't get through. And uh, so I said, excuse me, I, I, need, I need to pass. It was more like, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse I need, me. I want to go sit down, man. So I went and I sat down. <laughs> and as soon as I sat down, Dana was already in there. And as soon as I sat down, I hear this big scream. Guy's got a gun. These guys had just held up the place, yeah. and this guy had a gun trained yeah. on the woman. Yeah. And I asked, and it told him to get out of the I way. I said, "Hey, look, man. hey, pal. You know that guy. That that guy must have thought you were the most brave person he'd ever run into in his life. Who's who's got the nerve to walk up with a guy that goes like, 'Excuse me.'"